What is up guys, I just want to make this video real quick to talk about the changes that will be coming to Spiral Abyss in 1.2. So in my previous 1.2 update video, we went over a post by MiHoYo that talked about some new stuff we can expect in 1.2 as well as a section for Spiral Abyss. In the video, I just quickly gloss over the notes on each floor because I thought they were just additions or buffs to the floors. However, after talking about it on my Twitch with my chat, it seems more like they're going to be changes completely to the floor. One of the big indicators of this is for floor 11 it says your character will be periodically inflicted with engulfing storm which continuously drains your elemental energy until the inflicted electro is moved. All party members deal increased cryo damage. This is important to note because if you go to floor 11 the leyline disorder is that electro damage and cryo damage dealt by all party members is increased by 75% and superconduct is increased by 300%. If this information for Spiral Abyss in 1.2 were just additions to the floors, mechanics, and buffs, it doesn't really make sense to me for them to put cryo damage again. It does make sense for them to change the Spiral Abyss, however I feel like this is a little bit too early for free to play and budget players, especially with the limited amount of resources that the game provides us. Unless you're an Omega Whale, players are just now beating floor 12 of the Abyss, and there's a good amount of players that have max starred the Abyss, even if they're free to play or budget, but with these changes of the Abyss, it's going to set people back once more. MiHoYo could have added more floors to the Abyss with these same modifiers and like the same levels of the monsters, however it really feels like MiHoYo just doesn't want to give us more Primo Gems. The characters that players built up specifically for floors 9 through 12 might not be so great in the new Spiral Abyss, especially the pyro characters that they built up usually for floor 12 as they might not be as great if the pyro buff is removed on floor 12. If this does mean that the Leyline Disorder or the buffs and mechanics for floor 9 through 12 are actually changed, this could also mean that the monsters will be seeing a change too. They will possibly be putting Dragon Spine monsters into floors 9 through 12. If they do change the monsters for 9 through 12, this could be actually better or worse for players. It could be worse for players because maybe they built up a certain team and certain units just so they could deal with the type of monster and the density of monsters. But it also could be better because maybe some people just had really bad units for the type of floor it was. Such as not owning Venti. I'm going to quickly go over our current Leyline Disorders for each floor and then go over the possible new Leyline Disorders in 1.2. So floor 9, the current modifiers are that Pyro Electro and Overload all have increased damage. And in 1.2, characters on the field will continuously accumulate Sheer Cold and will continually lose HP after Sheer Cold reaches its limit. There will be a Heating Element on the field while the Heating Element is active. Getting close to it will reduce Sheer Cold. Enemies will attack the Heating Element on the field to stop it. After having stopped for a period of time, the Heating Element will restart automatically. Floor 10 has the Smoldering Flame Pyro debuff which will cause you to take Pyro damage until that Pyro element is removed and healing is increased during that entire floor. The 1.2 notes say that Floor 10 will have the Sheer Cold effect as well but instead of having a heating statue it will be a warming Sealy on the field. As we stated earlier Floor 11 has increased Electro, Cryo and Superconduct damage and Superconduct also decreases physical resistance even further. The 1.2 notes say that on Floor 11 your character will be periodically be inflicted with Engulfing Storm which is the Electro debuff which continuously drains your elemental energy which is your elemental burst gauge until the inflicted Electro is removed. All party members deal increased Cryo damage. Floor 12 of the this currently causes your character to be inflicted by condensed ice which is the cryo debuff and increases your stamina consumption whenever you use any stamina related mechanic. It also has pyro damage dealt by all party members increased by 75%. In 1.2, Floor 12 will cause all party members to deal increased Geo damage. So if these are actually changes and not additions to the floors, it seems really weird for Floor 12 to only have a Geo damage buff, and for Floor 9 to lose its entire damage buff and just only have a debuff seems really weird, and Floor 10 also losing its healing buff and the Pyro debuff seems really weird to just only put a Sheer Cold mechanic in. Maybe they're really trying to push 1.2 mechanics and 1.2 characters with these changes. I really feel like all these can just be additions because Floor 12 only has one damage booster, Floor 9 doesn't have any sort of debuff. Floor 10 does have a debuff, but I don't think this is going to be too bad. And then Floor 11 does not have a debuff either. It's just really weird for it to be addition if all party members deal increased cryo damage is put on there twice once again. Another reason why this could just be additions and not changes is because they've never mentioned this in the past. They've never talked about it on the live stream, they've never talked about it on their old post or dev notes, and in Pioneer testing, I've never heard any reports about changes to the Abyss other than that Abyss was posted on the event page for easier navigation. If these do turn out to be changes to the Abyss, it will definitely make it a lot harder for all players alike because they're going to have to build up new characters to go and tackle down the Abyss, as well as the buffs will be removed for a lot of the floors. 
If this actually does turn out to be a change to the Abyss and not an addition, I really do hope MiHoYo does put out some dev notes to explain why they decided to do it all of a sudden, as well as how often this will be ha occurring. And even if this is just an addition, not just a change, I really would like MiHoYo to also put out a dev note explaining why they did it this way so that people can plan in the future. Maybe if they do it for content related things, maybe the people are going to be wanting to build up more Nemo users for 1.3 with Xiao. Or maybe for 1.4, they want to build more Cryo users for Ayaka. What's also annoying is we don't even know when this 1.2 Abyss content is even going to be implemented. Doesn't say it on the post at all. Because right now, this Abyss season or this round of Abyss lasts for 10 more days. Will it be once one two goes live or was, will it be on the next season after this one's over? Regardless if these are changes or additions to the Spiral Abyss, I definitely recommend people to do Abyss before 1.2 so they could avoid these annoying mechanics. That's going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider leaving a like. Comment down below if you think these are changes or additions to the Abyss and your thoughts on them. Subscribe for more Genshin related content. Follow me on Twitch if you guys need some help with the Spiral Abyss. Join our Discord if you also need help with the Spiral Abyss or just want to hang out with other Genshin players. Follow me on my socials such as Twitter and Instagram if you guys want live quick updates on the game such as Primo Code, Leaks, and important banner information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.